Hi, this is Kanu Babu. In this video, we will discuss about how to work with Crystal Reports in .NET. First of all, you must know what is Crystal Report. Crystal Report is a business intelligence application. Used to design and generate reports from a wide range of data sources. Generally, if you want to display the uh, report, if you want to generate a report from different types of data sources, mostly the frequent, the tool that we use is Crystal Reports. So, in order to work with Crystal Reports, first of all, we need to download the Crystal Reports software from uh, SAP.com. Because Crystal Report support is directly not available for Visual Studio Editor, that is from 2010 onwards. Crystal Report is by default integrated with .NET uh, versions like Visual Studio 2003, 2005 and 2008. If you want to work with Crystal Reports, in Visual Studio 10 and latest versions like 13 or 15, Definitely, we need to download the Crystal Reports from SAP. So, here I already downloaded the Crystal Reports for VS 2013. Just click on Setup and you can click on S button and you can easily install. Just next button, next button and finish button. Is it clear? As I already installed, it is asking me to remove. I hope you understood. Now, once when you install Crystal Reports, now I want to work with how, let us see how to work with Crystal Reports in our Visual Studio Editor. So initially I will open my Visual Studio 2010. Here I will go to the new project. There I will try to select uh, some Windows Forms application. I want to use my Crystal Reports in Windows Forms. And here I will try to do some demo report. The name of the project I will do. And here initially you can go to the Solution Explorer. And within your Solution Explorer, you can uh, select the application name, right click, add new item, add new item and here you can see, um, select the report thing and here you can see crystal reports. As I install crystal reports, you can automatically, the crystal reports template is available within your editor, right and uh, just the name, you can give some name, I am giving the name as sample report sample report dot rpt click on add button the extension of crystal report is dot rpt right so crystal reports is automatically added within your solution is it clear here you can see right generally crystal reports templates will have uh, seven sections are there one is report header page header group header detail section group footer page footer and report footer Generally, report header, this section will is used to display the company names or organization names or the heading on the header of that particular page. We will display in the report header. And in page header section, here we will write the title of the page. Group header section, uh, uh, generally this section is used to um, give the information about that particular group. Detail section, this section is used to display the actual information which you want to display to the user about this particular report. Next group footer, it will have the summary of the group. Page footer, it will have the summary of the page and the page numbers and everything you can display in the page footer. Report footer, it will have the summary of the generating reports. Is it clear? Anyway, we will practically check this one. Generally in .NET, we can develop three types of reports here. One is standard report, other one is cross tab report, other one is mail label report. And here we can generate the crystal reports either in Windows Forms application or in web application, right? Initially, let us see how to generate the report in web application, that is ASP.NET web application. First of all, I will try to open my Visual Studio Editor, go to new project. There I will try to select web, ASP.NET empty web application. And here uh, uh, something like uh, sample report, I will give some name, sample report in web. Click on OK. Is it clear? Initially, I want to create one table in my database. So, here I will connect. I will open my SQL Server database. There you can sell give the server name Kanna. Password, I will give ABC. Just click on connect. Is it clear? So, here I have a lot of databases. But anyway, I will create one more database. Right click on the database. New database. The name of the database I will give as sample DB. Sample DB. Just click on OK. My database is ready. In this database, I'll create one table. Tables, new table. Here, I'll create one table with columns. Something like employee number, 
and data type I'll give as int and here I'll give employee name data type I'll give as varchar and here I'll give salary data type I'll give as money is it clear that's it and I want to apply primary key for employee number right click set primary key and if you want you can give address data type I'll give varchar is it clear now once you save the table the name of the table I'll give as employee just you open the tables that you can see right click on the employee edit top 200 rows my table is ready is it clear so I want to insert some records in the table so here I inserted some records in my table right now here you can open your visual studio editor and within your visual studio editor here you can go to the solution explorer as we added what empty asp.net web application and here right click on your project name there you can find add new item add new item there you can select data right first of all i am adding one data set here because crystal reports is generally used to uh, generate the reports from different types of data sources data source means the place where the data is located it may be data set or it may be database or it may be any uh, any uh, location uh, where the data is stored temporarily Every, anything is called as data set so the name of the data set uh, I'll give as something like I'll give the name as EMP EMP data set dot XST is it clear the extension is dot XST right and here just I'll click on add button so a file is added within your solution explorer with extension dot XST here XST means XML schema definition is an XML file so here Right within this I want to right click on the design there you can see add I want to add the data table actually data set is nothing but temporary database in data set the data will be stored in the form of tables so I want to create one new data table within my data set so right click add data table is it clear and uh, here you can see within the data table here you can see I can add the columns so right click on the data table add column here you can mention the column name some column name I will give as uh, the same column names that are available in my table EMP number is it clear and here uh, similarly I want to add one more column right click add column and here I will give the name as EMP name and right click add one more column add column here I will give salary and here right click add column here I will give address is it clear and I want to apply the primary key for EMP number so select uh, EMP number column there you can see set primary key so primary key is applied I hope you understood that if any constraints are there also you can apply because here if uh, the schema of the table and the schema of the data set both must be same here as we already having primary key for this column here also I kept the primary key I hope you understood so here you select each column go to where properties there you can change the data type of the column the data type of the EMP number is int so select system dot int 32 these all are CTS data type names select EMP name column right click go to properties the data type is string select salary right click go to properties the data type is system dot double so select the data type name as system dot double and address the data type is same system dot string hope you understood so we need to set the data types for all the columns is it clear next we need to add the crystal report template to the solution explorer so here right click on the project add new item and there you can select reporting there I will give the name as crystal reports and I will change the name as EMP report EMP report dot RPT just click on add button whenever you add it here three types of reports you can generate one is standard report cross tab report and mail label I want to work with standard report so select the standard report click on ok and here you can go to the project data there you can see edivo.net data sets because your uh, crystal report is generally used to uh, generate the report from different types of data sources here my data source is data set in data set my data is available in the data table so I will try to select and click on what uh, this ok button and within this process here I will just click on finish button I added the report 
So whenever you added the report here, you can see different types of sections that are available. First one is report header, second one is page header, third one is details header, other one is report footer, and the other one is page footer. Is it clear? And here you can see the page numbers. Right. So here we can decorate this report. So first of all, you can go to right click on the design, you can view the field explorer. Here you can see, this is your field explorer. And within the field explorer, you expand what? database fields there you can uh, expand your data table here you can see and within my employee number i will try to drag and drop the employee number in details section and similarly i will drag and drop each column employee name in details section salary in details section and similarly i will try to drag and drop the address in details section and here you can display the right click on the report header report header is generally used to give the heading so right click insert text object here you can give some name here i'll give the name as such a technologies and uh, now we need to fetch the data from employee table that is available in sample db and we need to store the data in data set then we have to assign because we create one table in data set whatever the table that is available in the data set and the database table the schema is must be same is it clear now we have to bring the data from database and store in where data set and attach I want to generate the report and display in the crystal report generally we'll work with grid view control we'll display the data from data set now instead of grid view control I want to display the data in the report so here I'll go to the solution explorer so you right click on the project I want to add a new item and here I will try to select the web form the name I'll give as web form .aspx. just click on add button is it clear and here I will simply I'll go to the solution explorer, right click, view designer. So this is my design phase. And here I will go to the toolbox. And within this toolbox, I will try to drag and drop. Under the toolbox, you can see one section called reporting. There you can see crystal report viewer. Simply drag and drop that one from the toolbox. Is it clear? And here you can right click, go to view, view code. Here to make the things faster, I have already generated the code here. Just I will explain that one. First of all, I declared three namespaces. One is using system.data, using system.data.sql client. And in order to work with crystal reports here, you need to declare one more namespace using crystal .crystal engine. So initially what we are happening means, uh, generally if you consider in our database, our database name is sample db. In the database we have one table called employee. Now I need to fetch the data from database and store in my data set. As we already know that data set is a temporary database. How you are trying to display the data in where? From data set to grid view control. Here also first of all I want to fetch the data from database and store in data set. For that purpose I'm, I need to create the connection to the database. SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection of my user ID SA, password ABC, database sample DB, data sources Kanna. That is my server name. Now I want to pass the query, SQL data adapter DA is equals to new SQL data adapter of select star from employee. So what is the meaning of that? We are trying to fetch the data from employee table and then we are creating an object for a data set and store the result of the query in where? Data set. So here we are preparing one data source for a, a report document. There is one predefined class called report document. We are creating an object for that uh, report document. Generally in uh, grid view control you will write grid view one dot data source is equal to ds similarly here we are need to prepare the data source that is report document and here i i, I want to load that particular uh, report my report name is emp report dot rpt is it clear emp report dot rpt so r dot load of server dot map path of emp report dot rpt and i want to attach that one to my data source the data that is available in data set uh, the table data table I want attached to my report and then uh, like grid view control here we are having crystal report viewer 1 dot report source is equal char and data byte once debug and check the output your report must be generated right here my uh, company name is such a technologies today's date employee number employee name salary address I hope you understood and here below you can see the page numbers also like this, you can generate the sample standard report. In the next video, we'll discuss about uh, how to generate the grouping report. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.